Good morning. Today we have a video request from a member, a boss member, and she wants to know how to stop her background images from moving when she's working in Silhouette Studio. So we're going to do this really, really quick, y'all, and we're going to show Tammy how to stop her background images from moving in Silhouette Studio. So let's just go ahead and pull up the Silhouette Studio. Um, let's go ahead and pull up Silhouette Studio so that we can show her how this is done. And let's see here. Let's go over here to our desktop scene. So, Tammy, this video is for you. Um, when I'm working in Silhouette Studio, I like to work in layers, Tammy. And so you'll be able to do that by using your layers panel. Um, and what I like to do is I like to do backgrounds. So let's say, for example, my shirt is purple. And I'm going to do a purple shirt. And then I want to do some letters and let's say I'm just going to do boss. And I don't want this background to be moving around when I am working. So we're going to change up some things here. And I'm going to show you real fast how to lock that layer because it's very, very easy to lock the layer, y'all. So we just have this word boss here and you know we may be moving some stuff and that may move around by mistake and we don't want that so what we want to do is we want to go here to panels and this is in I believe panels is in the business edition of Silhouette Studio what you have to do is look at your edition and see if you have the ability to use layers and if you have the ability to use layers Tammy then you're able to use this um, this um, panel here and this is how you would be able to lock your designs it was a big headache for me too so if you click here you can turn stuff on and turn stuff off and as we see right now everything is on one layer so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this rectangle which is my layer here I'm going to move that and I can go here and I can rename my rectangle and I can rename I can name this uh, t-shirt background for example and then I can come back and I can use this anytime that I want to work on something and I can lock this layer and so that will help you there because now no matter what I do if I select everything on here nothing's going to move so when you're designing you can do that um, let's say if I wanted to go ahead and because I am going to do a boss design let's say I want to add something else on here um, let's just add a heart on here um, just for the sake of it and show you how to create that layer one more time so we have a heart here right and We've got our heart, and notice that that heart went to the same layer. So what we would want to do is if we want that heart to be on a different layer, we can go in and we can add another layer. Um, when layers helps is when you have something, really something like um, if I was to put a contour around this wording, this is when this layers panel really really helps um will help you let's say for example i put this contour or offset is what they call it in here i put this offset here and oh, i'm not trying to open up the trace panel let's change the color of that let's make it a gold and let's change the color of that and make that white so let's say for example that I am I want to print out this boss design right 
and but I want on this boss design I don't want to print the whole thing or I want sometimes I may want to just show part of it I may not want to show part of it uh, things like that so what you could do is let me find the layer this is the polygon here is you would create a new layer and now we have this new layer and we're gonna move this up uh, here okay and then if we turn this off and on we will see that we can only show you know you can show whichever layer you want now what you want to do here is you want to move this layer two you want to move layer two up and you want to have layer two up above you know the layer three I believe that was let's see here I may have let me see y'all let me see cuz okay that's layer one okay and we need to have the polygon layer that polygon layer I need is here and I need to have it behind the boss layer um, so I actually want to move this down I believe let's see here sometimes it gets confusing to me y'all some reason that's not moving okay I want this polygon layer below here okay so y'all know what I didn't got totally totally confused let me see here for some reason for some reason I'm not getting that layer to come up like I want it to be um, Hmm, that's weird that layer should actually this is that layer and then this layer is on top so it should show on top but for some reason oh let's see here did I even move I didn't move it y'all I didn't move it I don't think I moved it let's see here okay now there's the polygon layer okay so I'm gonna move this layer number three up here and now it should work let's see it still ain't working y'all well you get the idea um, that's pretty weird to me I'm not sure why that's doing that today it's early in the morning and I haven't had any coffee so I might need to go back and relook at that and because I can't figure that out let's see here's a symbol here's a text oh y'all know what the text is on the wrong layer that's what's going on so let's see here if I cut this off and leave this I've got two layers with the same thing on it some kind of way if I cut that off notice I still have this which is the polygon here um, and I never have the text layer so that's what's going on this text layer here needs to be moved up to there and then this needs to be moved all the way up and that should give me what I'm looking for that should give me what I'm looking for. I'm going to move this. Nope. Okay. And let's see. Okay. For some reason, y'all, it's not working for me today. Normally when I'm working in... Let me start over and do that again, Tammy, because, hunty, got all the layers showing. I wonder do I have two of these on here I don't I have that one there's my text layer oh how do I keep getting that polygon on there y'all okay this is and the best thing for me to do is to rename this so that I don't get um, I'm just gonna call this contour outline because honey Sometimes I get confused and 
this text is going to be called main text so that I can get this right. Okay. Now, this main text should be moved behind the contour text. So main text and then move that up. And that should be it. So we would have this contour here and then we would have the main text here. And so I need to adjust, you know, you could just go back here and adjust the contour. Now, one thing that you can do as long as the everything is unlocked, Tammy. So let's say, for example, I have um, I have everything uh, in this right here. Say for one, th one. <coughs> sorry, I have everything unlocked. Um, Y'all wait a minute. This layer right here, one, with this t-shirt on it, is not showing. I tell you, whenever I go live, it's always a problem. It's always a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this here and I'm going to add this t-shirt here and move it up here because for some reason this layer is locked and it's not letting me um, do what I want to do now. And my computer is going crazy. So let's see. It won't even let me move anything, y'all. My mouse will not let me click it. So that's crazy. But let me just go ahead and say what I was saying. So, Tammy, if you want to, as long as all of these layers, see, if these layers are locked, right, then I cannot touch anything here. But if this main text layer and this contour layer, if it's unlocked, and let's say I wanted to move it, I can still move everything around. I can do anything as long as everything is unlocked. So, y'all, that is how you do it. And even if it's unlocked, and I want to, let's say I have this moved up here, as long as it's unlocked, I can still grab it and I can still bring everything back to center. But at the point where you lock anything, you will not be able to do that. So if we just selected um, this text here, which is the main contour, and we locked it and then we grabbed everything and we tried to bring it back to center, it will not come back to center. So that's just a quick little tutorial on how to lock and unlock layers. And once you start playing around with the layers panel, you'll learn a lot about it. It is a really, really cool um, way to, you know, to, to work in Silhouette Studio. Um, and it's the way that I do a lot of stuff when I am working in the program. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. This is a video. Um, this is a video, y'all, um, that a new member had uh, requested. So I'm just doing it really quick this morning and decided to do it live. And now I'm going to get off of here and I'm going to go have my coffee. And I will see y'all at 9 a.m. for Monday Motivation. Okay. Sorry if... Um, I got y'all up and bothered thinking that it was a stream, but you know, members are able, if you are a member, a channel member, and any level channel channel membership, I will create a video for you if you're having problems with anything. Um, and that includes the, not only the YouTube members, but also the Lady Print Boss members who are over on the Lady Print Boss page. Y'all have a good day, and I will see y'all in a little bit. Thanks. Bye-bye.